this is question number 3a2 okay so they have asked you to write a regular expression the question is obtain regular expression to accept strings of a's and b's so the symbols are a comma b whose second symbol from the right end is a okay so suppose if this is the right hand side end this second symbol from the right end they have told it should be a okay now they have not told what is what should be the end what should be the starting okay so the end can be anything it can be either a or it can be b okay so what about the starting it can be anything it can be either a or b okay any number of times for example the language can contain something like a okay b a b so the second symbol from the right is a it can have b a b a a the second symbol from the right is a okay so it can have actually b a b itself the second symbol sh should be a the second symbol from the right is a so uh, if you have uh, got a question like this just check the positions where the conditions are applied okay uh, then for the rest of the thing you can uh, make it whether it is a, a or b any number of times or based on the condition you can write okay now about second uh, question third part they have told obtain the regular expression to accept the words with two or more letters but beginning and ending should be the same letter okay here also the input symbols are a comma b the same question we have solved in the class i have i think i have given in the notes also so there are like 10 um, questions for regular expression formation okay those are basic questions you just go through that once starting letter should be a the ending letter should be b uh, it should definitely contains a so these are the basic questions if you see them if you get the similar question you will be able to answer now in this question they are telling the starting and the ending should be same so if i start with a i should end with a okay similarly if i start with b i should end with b in between i can have anything okay so if i'm starting with a i should end with a this is the minimum step if i start with the b i should end with b okay now if i i can have something like a b a so i'm starting with a ending with a in between i'm having a b i can have a b b a also or i can have a a b a so between these two a's i can have any combination like i can have one b two b a b okay i can have two a also that doesn't matter so in between these two a's i can have either a or b multiple number of times okay similarly in between the two b's i can have a or b any number of times okay so if i am starting with a it should end with a or okay if i am starting with b it should end with b so the regular expression a a plus b star a means it is starting and ending with a or if it starts with b it should end with b in between it can have any number of a's and b's okay so this is your uh, third question a third part now what about the fourth part it is telling obtain nfa which accepts a comma b starting with a b okay so the fourth part of the question they are asking you to construct nfa which should start with a come a b okay now designing a nfa is very easy okay it is unless uh, dfa nfa need not want to have transition for all the symbol in all the states okay it can have more than one transition for the same symbol okay so it is easy to 
write the NFA. Now what they are telling? It should start with A, B, right? So put an initial state. On seeing this first A, I will go from Q0 to Q1. On seeing this B, I will go from Q1 to Q2. So I can accept the string just by starting with AB. Now AB can be followed by a, a right? AB can be followed by a B or AB can be followed by BA. It goes on. So we don't know the size of the string after your AB. So what we will do? We will put a loop over here and we will mark it can be either A or B. So this is your NFA that accepts the string which starts with AB. Okay. Now what is the fifth part of your question? The fifth part of your question says A plus B star okay followed by A A followed by A plus B the whole power star okay see each question in this um, uh, third question has only two marks okay the weightage of the question either if you form the regular expression or if you are uh, designing uh, NFA the question will contain I mean the weightage of the question is only two marks now what they have asked you to do they have asked you to draw the epsilon NFA for the given regular expression okay so if you remember converting regular expression to epsilon NFA you have uh, three parts in that okay if it is a or b how we will represent we will represent by using uh, six states right so we will have state like this if i am starting from this state if i choose this path okay that means i am choosing a that is i am seeing a the rest of two will be epsilon see there are so many uh, blue books where uh, this question is like LKG student only they will simply write A or B somewhere and they will write epsilon somewhere else no this middle part should have the actual symbols if A is here the counterpart B should be here the rest of the two side it should have epsilon so this is this uh, representation of NFA is for the regular expression A or B now it is A dot B or A B then how we will represent means we will represent okay this is a now in between every symbol we will separate by using a epsilon so after a, a what i am doing i am seeing a b this is how you will represent now if i get something like a star how i will represent okay now I am having a starting state okay and I am having a epsilon over here a okay and I am having a end state called epsilon now a star means it can have zero occurrence of a one two three so on okay if I have zero occurrence of a means then directly I can go from the initial state to final state by just reading one epsilon okay for one a it will come to the state okay then it will see one a then it will go to the final state what about two a's okay now this step should be repeated right that's why we will have a back loop over here marking epsilon okay so on seeing one a it will be in this state on seeing the second a it will come back to the previous state again it will see a one more a okay it will be repeated for n number of years basically for a epsilon that is a star you should be having one two three four states remember that a plus b you will be having six states okay a dot b or a b you will be having again four states so you should remember the structure of the state then only you can draw the diagram okay now 
this pointing of the arrows also is important if you understand the concept you will be able to write the arrow properly so basically there will be an arrow from first state to fourth state and there will be an arrow from 3 to 2 okay 1 4 3 2 remember that if you cannot understand the concept so now what they have asked they have asked you to do epsilon nfa for a plus b star a a followed by a plus b star okay now break this question into parts okay first you draw the diagram for this a plus b alone using this one okay now if i do that so i will be drawing six states right so if i choose this path i will see a okay if i am choosing the second path then i will see a b over here okay now my a plus b part is done now on top of that what it is having it is having a epsilon closure okay so now this entire box okay this entire box i am going to fix in this place okay this place now if this two states is equal to the entire thing then i have to add this initial and the final state to that okay how can we do this one we can write initial state over here and final state over here now i will put a epsilon okay what we have told from 1 to 4 we should have a epsilon transition right so from my initial state i will put transition to my final state okay from my initial state what i am doing i am putting a transition to my final state similarly from my 3 to 2 i should have a transition so basically what i will do i will put a transition from here to here epsilon transition okay see you will see some youtube channel there the diagram is wrong i cannot help so this is how you will represent now what you have to do you have to do for this a okay now this is a concatenation right we have to concatenate by adding a over here okay now there are two a's so we will put an epsilon and we will mark it for one more a now again we are having a plus b star so you have to repeat the first structure for one more time so how many states we will have we will have one two three okay now we will have okay so here what we will do means we will write a epsilon okay epsilon epsilon b epsilon and epsilon over here okay now without seeing anything only that is without seeing any a or b uh, we can go from here to here right and here also we can have any number of a's or b so that is represented by this slope so this is how you will write the epsilon nfa for the given regular expression so it is always important to put all the arrow marks epsilon represented it neatly if you if there is no enough space don't